Hey friends, welcome to One Flight Down Basement Beer Tastings. Today we are checking out an IPA that is considered one of the best in the world. It's highly uh, reviewed, uh, one I've been wanting to try for a long time. Very excited about this one. This is uh, the 90 Minute Imperial IPA from Dogfish Head. All right, so this beer comes to me courtesy of my friend Crystal, who picked this up in Minnesota for me recently. Thank you, Crystal, for doing that. I've been, <laughs> I've had so many beers I've been trying to get through lately. Uh, so I just I haven't gotten around to cracking this open yet. I'm, but I am so excited about it. Uh, so my friend Crystal, uh, she takes a regular trip down to to Minnesota and and asked me to, you know, ask me for a list of beers to bring. So I kind of, I wasn't thinking so much. Minnesota beers I just thought like what are the some of the big American uh craft beers that I haven't tried yet um and this was the only one she was <laughs> successfully able to get at this like booze superstore she went to um and she got me other ones from you know, I, I gave her suggestions of certain beers and she found other ones from those breweries but this is the uh the only one that she got the exact beer that I asked for. So I'm, I'm pretty excited she was able to get this because I've been wanting to try this one for a long time. Um, I have had other beers from Dogfish Head. Uh, Dogfish Head is a, um, it's a brewery in Delaware. Um, I know, uh, when, anytime I've been in, uh, New York City, I've, I've, uh, always been able to find their beers and, uh, I still remember the first time trying one of their, their beers. I was super impressed. And the rest of that trip, I was just trying to find other ones by them. But for some reason, this wasn't uh, one that I tried. To my knowledge. I mean, maybe I did. And I, I, at that point, I wasn't as into uh, craft beers. And, and, you know, I could have tried it and not really realized that was what I was trying. That it was so legendary. I'm not so sure. Um, but I'm going to say... Pretty sure I've never tried this one. So, 90 minute Imperial IPA. What the heck does that mean? Uh, so they have a series of beers. They have a 60 minute IPA. They have a 120 minute, uh, IPA. But this is the one that started it all, the 90 minute IPA. And I actually came across, uh, some video. Dogfish Head's got their own, uh, YouTube page. And I found a video where they kind of talked about the process of that. So I'm going to link to that uh, in the description below, maybe up here somewhere. Um, it's worth checking out. Um, basically what it comes down to is it's a continuous hopping during the boil process. Uh, and I guess that takes place over 90 minutes, um, or 60 or 120. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see if there's anything else that it says on here. Uh, 9% alcohol. Hey, hey, all right. Um, Dogfish Head Craft Brewery, Milton, Delaware. Yeah, it doesn't tell me much more. Is there a, uh, um, packaged date? Uh, not a package bait date, I guess, but a best before February 2024. So it's get, get, cutting it pretty close. Better have this right now. Uh, so let's crack this open. And let's get this in the glass. Obviously, I do not have a dogfish head brewery glass. So I'm going to pour this into my little brown jug, uh, tulip glass, uh, just because I like the aromas that, uh, come from this glass and I'm hoping this is going to be a beer with some good aromas. Uh, let's pour this out, see what we got. Now, I'm sure some of my American friends out there are like, this is not such a big deal. We get this all the time. But in Canada, you do not see dogfish head ale beers. Uh, you see maybe like out in Ontario, maybe like, maybe like in Toronto and stuff, you might be able to come across their beers. But, uh, in Manitoba, not something we see on a very regular basis. Um, so I'm excited to try this. Uh, so I'm getting some really strong piney notes, uh, like, like from pretty far away. Um, get the piney, maybe a little that, uh, you know, that dank note you get with, with IPAs, like there's a dankness to it. 
uh, yeah, I, I, again, it's a lot going on in the nose, but it feels kind of like earthy and, yeah, uh, maybe even a touch of a maltiness to it, like a sweetness. There's a sweetness in there. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a heck of a lot going on in the nose on this one. Um, yeah, like the pine hits me more than anything. Like that's just uh, right up front. But, um, uh, yeah, I get like a little bit of that, uh, like a little touch of a citrusy note. I get a touch of, of sweetness. Um, yeah, I, I, and I often on this channel will say I, I don't have the greatest sense of smell. Um, it's, but this is, this has got a powerful smell to it. So, uh, yeah, enough, uh, smelling it, enough looking at it. Let's, uh, let's get in and give this a sip. Cheers, my friends. Oh, man. It's a lot going on taste-wise, too. Um, oh, boy. Um, I'm going to say I got a, 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 like a, a piney note more than anything else. But there is a little bit of a, just a hint of a, a like a citrus zip to it, too. really interesting aftertaste to it like it, it it lingers nicely um yeah this is quite nice now this has been called um this has been called a game changer it's been called um i've seen different reviews for it that have said you know it's 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 one of the best ipas in the world uh i've seen it uh, referred to as, um, uh, I, I said game changer, right? Yeah, it's just, uh, it's a, I've read some really, really strong reviews for this, like a lot of praise. So it's got a lot to live up for, uh, live up to. Um, and had I not read any of those, my mind might be a little more blown than it is, but that said, it's still really good. You know, when you, just when you go in with such high expectations, right? Man, but you know, I'm getting like different uh, uh, flavors a, 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 as this goes along. Like, so yeah, this is a really, really good beer. Um, and even though, like the mouthfeel on it is interesting. Like, it, it feels like a heavier beer. Like, it's got some body to it. Um, but yeah, it is really, really nice. Um, and it's funny, I, or I said on the nose, I had that, like, the uh, bit of a malty sweetness. I wasn't necessarily getting that, that so much, but getting, like, taste wise. But I'm just now starting to get a little bit of that nice little sweetness on the end. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice beer. I mean, like I said, if you're one of my American friends, I'm sure you've tried this. Um, if you're one of my Canadian friends, you may not have. And if you get a chance to, I highly recommend trying this. Um, it is, uh, it's not like a lot of, like, I mean, it's, it's, I'm not going to say it's, it's completely unique, but, um, it does have a pretty distinct taste. Like, you know, sometimes some IPAs kind of taste similar. I, I was expecting this to be almost like um, uh, the one I had from The Alchemist. Like, just, uh, we also considered, the Heady Topper, also considered one of the world's best IPAs. Um, that one's got way more of like a, a, like a hop, <laughs> hop punch to it. But, I mean, this has, has it too. It's just in a different way. Um, yeah, I don't know what, like, IBUs are on this or anything. Uh, like, I'm not, I think pretty darn high, but, yeah, I don't know for sure. Um, but, yeah, it's a really good beer. Uh, it's got a pretty distinct taste. I, if you if you don't like IPAs, you're not gonna like it. But if you do, uh, yeah, I think you'll really enjoy it. 
Um, so again, thank you, Crystal, for uh, getting this beer to me. Um, I got some more beers uh, from her uh, that she brought from, from me to me from uh, Minnesota recently. Coming up in the next little while, I got I got a schedule full of beers uh, coming up this month. Uh, and another thing, I just want to quickly uh, jump on here and say is uh, later this month, uh, I'll be celebrating my three-year anniversary. Three years down. It's coming up later this month. I'm planning a big uh, live special. It might be like a like a Sunday afternoon kind of thing. Because um, I think, I think, I'm pretty sure uh, the anniversary date lands on a Sunday this year. So I will be putting out a, an announcement on that. But this is a little teaser for you. All right. As I said, thank you, Crystal, for the beer. Thank you to the rest of you for dropping by the Terry Isle Basement Pub. See you all again real soon, my friends. Cheers.